Do you know the letter we will be going through today, Jamal? Mm. Mm. Ma- meme, meme. Yes, we will be going through the letter meme. Meme. Do you know how to pronounce the letter meme? Um, I've seen lots of memes. Go on, and you've seen lots of memes. You know memes? Yeah, you, people those, make those fun pictures, of people, right? Those pictures. Uh-huh. I've even seen a meme about you, Uncle Life. Is it? Yep. What does it say? I think it's got a picture of you and me on it. And what does it say? I think it says Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. I think my name is Beauty and the Beast. I think my name means Beauty, Uncle Life. So the letter meme. Meme. Okay. Do we know how to pronounce it? I think you just say, if you, if you think about yourself a lot. Me. Then you say, and just add an M on the end, I think. Yes, so it will be meme. Say meme. 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 Very simple. Meme. 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 Very good, mashallah. Dinis are now in town to spread some smiles. Now, children watching this program and Jamal, do you know a word in Arabic that starts with the letter meme? I know loads, Uncle Life. Let's, let's quickly do some of them. Go on. Muslim. Muslim. Fantastic. Mashallah, tabarakallah. We are all Muslims. The one who believes in Allah. And his commandments, inshallah, bi ta'ala. Muslim, very good. What else? Masjid. Masjid. A Muslim goes to a? Masjid. Masjid. And a masjid is a place of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Community building. Community building. And Jamal, you know, if there is no masjid and there is a place to pray, what is it called? Musalla. Mm, musalla. Musalla. Or when you have a prayer mat, it is also called a musalla. Musalla. Very good. What else? Any other? Like, what do you think about that actually? About what do you think about going to the masjid? It's something which is we don't important. live far away from one at home, but you know, my dad takes me sometimes, but doesn't go other times. Jamal, what do you think? I think. Do you think is, I should go more? I. Th- we know the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you should go to the masjid and worship Allah. You can worship Allah anywhere, but when it comes to the prayer time, you should go to the masjid and pray. And this is something should be, the children watching this program should go with their parents to the masjid. Maybe you should encourage them. It is something that is very important. Parents watching this program, make sure you take your children to the masjid. And the masjid is a place of worship and is a house of Allah. And this is where the children will see other people praying and people will see other people praying. And what will happen when you listen to the recitation of the Quran or even when you go... Th- at a time which is Dhuhr and Asr, at least you are in the house of Allah. I love going to the masjid of life. It's, it's some, one of the most important things that we need to do to go into the masjid. I love playing table tennis there. You know, masjids should have a place where children can um, you know, engage in activities that are, you know, that, are, that are fun. You know, in my mosque, Akul Life, yeah, go on. we've even got Scrabble. Scrabble? Scrabble. That's very good, mashallah. I think it's we great. need to. We should play that game once. Inshallah. Right. Going back to the point, in a masjid, Jamal, there is a place where the imam stands and leads the prayer. Do you know what that is called? The mimbar. The mimbar. Well, the mimbar is a place where the imam stands and delivers a sermon. You know, there is mihrab. 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 You know when the imam goes and there's a place which is kind of a... The fancy thing at the front. A fancy thing in the front, if you can call it, but it is corner or it is, it is, it's a little bit deep. It shows us where the qibla is. Where the qibla is, inshallah. So, mihrab is called. Tayyip. What else? Any other word with the letter meme? Madrasa. Madrasa. Very good, mashallah, tabarakallah. And what is madrasa? That Ma- place we used to go from five to seven after school. Which is... Well, madrasa in Arabic is known as a school. Um, it's like a school thing. It is a school. Madrasa means a school, and a school is a place where you do dars, where you study dirasa. Okay, so the madrasa comes from the word dars or dirasa. Akul life. Go on, Jamal. Are there any of Allah's names beginning with me? Oh, meme? there are so many names of Allah that start with the letter me. You know, like there is what? there is one al mughni You know, the one who gives you richness. Right? Did you know about this? Al Mughni. Say Al Mughni. Mughni. Al Mughni. There is one which is Al Mumit, the one who makes people to die. Right? The al- taker of life. The taker of life. Then you have Al Muhi, the one who gives life. So Allah is the one who gives life and takes it away. And takes it away. And we know that in this world, there is only a limited period of time that we have. We're all going to die one day. We're not day. going to die. And inshallah, in Jannah, 
we will be raised again and we will meet our family members and above all we will meet the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And never die there. And never die. There is another name of Allah which is known as Al Malik. Al Malik. Al Malik. You know what Al Malik means? The king? Al Malik. No, that is Al Malik. Oh. Al Malik means the owner. I see. The owner of each and everything. Right? So it's Allah is the owner of each and everything. Any more, Uncle Life? There is another word I think I mentioned to you, and I will let you give me the answer for it. Al Mania. Al Mania. Al Mania. Oh, we spoke about that the other day. Yes, the name of Allah, Al Mania, which means. The one who prevents. So he prevents things like bad things or harmful things happening to the you. The one who prevents harm coming to you, subhanAllah. So Allah is the Malik, the owner of each and everything. Allah is Allah is Al Muhyi, the one who gives life. He is Al-Mumid, the, t- the one who takes life. He is Al-Mu'iz, the one who gives honor. Allah is also al mani the, the one who prevents harm coming to you. And Jamal, you know what Jamal? There are so many names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can talk about. There's Al-Mujib, there's Al-Mudhil, so many of them. But now when we talk about these things, what I would like you to tell me and do, how are you going to use these names of Allah to make dua? Let's say Al Malik. How will you use the name Al Malik? Can I do one of the other ones? Go on. Tell can me. I do? The, the, you said Al Mujib. Al Mujib. I've heard that one before. Yeah. Go on. It's because I use it actually. What does it mean? It means the one who answers you. The one who answers. It comes from Jawab. Jawab. I, jawab means answer. Al Mujib, the one who answers. So sometimes when I make dua, yes, I say, Oh Allah. You are the one who is Al Wajib. You're the one who you is You're the Al-Wajib. one who answers people's du'as. Allah. So please, and then I make du'a for whatever. Fantastic. What a beautiful, what a beautiful point, Jamal. Well done, mashallah. Thanks, Uncle Life. Al Mujib, the one who answers. The one who answers to everyone's du'a. Did you know that, Jamal? Yes, Uncle Life. Those who believe and don't believe, Allah is the one who answers because He's the Malik and He is the one who guides people. Subhanallah. Well done. There's only one thing left to say, and that is. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الدين ونصيحة الدين ونصيحة الدين is a now in time to spread some smiles oh. let's call to Allah the one while we learn and have some fun with Iman, Tawheed and Salah we pray a lot for Barakah we love our prophets and follow Sunnah join us on the path to Jannah where we only want to please Allah Adinu Nasiha, Adinu Nasiha. Dini's are now in time to spread some smiles. Oh, yeah.